So before Microsoft gets to Discord, meanwhile, we can spare some time and do some Windows app. Yeah, you're up for that, yes? So here are some Windows app that let you use Google Assistant right on Windows 10. Mirror your Windows 10 screen onto your Android screen easily. Escape online meetings like a pro and much more. Sorry, last one's only for people like me. Anyways, these are the best Windows 10 apps for April 2021. Let's go. But, 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 before we move on to the video, I would like to thank Duplicates Cleaner for making this video possible. Duplicate Cleaner, as the name suggests, lets you find duplicate files on your Windows or Android system. It helps you free your precious, precious storage. Like here, in the app, you have the option to scan duplicate images, videos, audio files, document, etc. I mostly download the same images twice and like you guys, my downloads folder is a mess. So I just scan my download folder for images quickly and done. It helped me free hundreds of MBs. Do check out Duplicate Cleaner from the link in the description. It's a free app with some feature behind a one-time payment. First up, we have Google Assistant for Windows 10 and I'm really excited about it because Windows comes with Cortana and Cortana is... I don't need to tell you. Like, who doesn't like replacing Cortana? So this is an unofficial port of Google Assistant for Windows 10. My most favorite part is the UI of the app. It feels closer to how Google Assistant would work on an Android tablet. You can set reminders and that gets synced directly to your Android device. Like here, if I set a reminder on my PC, Remind me to give Kaushik 937 coffee in 5 minutes. It gets set on my Android device as well and it can be accessed at both places. And here's another of my favorite one. You can search places, get directions, phone number, etc. from the Google Assistant right here on Windows 10. And if you see side by side with the start menu search, Google Assistant provides the number way faster. And even when you click on directions, it shows you within the same window and it even sends the link to your phone, which is super helpful. On the other hand, compared to start menu, which takes you only to edge and Bing Maps. Now, not all things that work on your Android's Google Assistant work here on PC. You cannot send messages or call people from the desktop. And most importantly, the process to set up Google Assistant on Windows 10 is way complicated. I can't explain it in this video, but I'll drop a link to the entire process in the description. Next up is Everything Toolbar. Now, you might have heard of Everything, in case you don't. Everything is a popular file search app that is far, far better than Windows Start Menu Search. Now, this tool, Everything Toolbar, brings this great everything search to the bottom taskbar. So now, you can hide the old search bar and use everything instead of it. All you need to do is install everything and everything toolbar, right click on the taskbar and select everything toolbar. Resize and move it a bit. And there you go. It works better than the start menu search. Here, have a look. I'm trying to search a SNL PSD file and everything search gives me what I want, whereas Start menu is still searching things on Bing, like slow claps, Bing, you know. And keep clapping for the next app called Desk Screen. Now, Desk Screen is an app that lets you mirror your display directly to your Android or iOS device without installing any app on your phone. You just have to download Desk Screen on Windows 10 and scan this QR code, accept the connection and boom, you're done. I often use this to view the colors on my thumbnails on Nord's AMOLED display because the panel on my Lenovo ThinkPad is pretty bad and washed out. Another handy use case would be just to share a video screen playing on your Windows PC to Android. And then you can just continue watching video on your phone while working on your PC. The only drawback is that desk screen works only on Wi-Fi. Next up is Zoom Escaper. It's the same app Rinal mentioned in SNL with TechWiser. Hey, in case you guys don't know, we discuss tech news, answer your tech queries, till the time Rinal gets hungry, of course. 
So make sure you tune in or rather tap in every Saturday at 9 p.m. for the live session. Anyways, I hate Monday meetings. There goes my public office rant. And here's a quick way to escape them. You have Zoom Escaper, which is a web app. So you want to pretend you're having network issues or technical errors, just press any option like here. Oh shit. Oh shit. I think we broke our mic. There seems to be an echo problem. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I guess we have to end the video. See? See? Gotcha, right? And this is the best sound. <laughs> <laughs> like, claps for the dev? Who thought of that? Anyways, Zoom Escaper is a web app. All you have to do is open the website, select your mic, and that's it. You can select the sounds or disruption you want to create and it just works. The next one is my personal favorite. Fluent Flyouts is a simple utility that just displays battery percentage at the bottom taskbar. It's such a small utility but very helpful. Typically in Windows, you have to hover over the battery icon to see the battery percentage. But now, it's just straight up visible. You can click on it and you have a nice little discharge graph. It also tells you actual battery capacity. Like here, in my case, the battery capacity was 47 watt hour and now it's degraded to 35.1 watt hour, 75%. Alternatively, you can also try title bar battery, which displays your laptop's battery percentage on every window. Moving on to a functional web browser, Here's slash web, which would be helpful for all web developers out there. And even if you make WordPress websites, do use slash web. You can download slash web from the slash B website. Once installed, all you have to do is put the website name in the browser and that's it. It by default shows you the site in three different devices, Samsung Galaxy S8, iPhone 8 and iPad. The USB is it lets you see all the sites in different devices in the same window. The main USP of Slash Web is it lets you see how your sites would look on different devices in the same window. Now, you can of course edit these devices according to your preference. Uh, like at times, we make changes to techwiser.com and we want to see how it looks on an iPad, Windows PC and mobile at the same time. It's Slash Web is quite helpful this way. Additionally, you can also change user agents, which is a helpful tool. So suppose if a person opens your website on mobile as a PC site, so how does your website react to that? The prime example is YouTube. If you open YouTube on your phone as a desktop site, the video still plays in the background. So it's a bug or a feature, the way you look at it. This way, by changing the user agent on slash web, you can check the bugs on your own website. Unfortunately, the slash web browser is paid, but you do get a 30 day free trial to check out things or get your work done quickly. But this next application is totally free and really good. One Commander is an open source portable file manager that gives you the pain view in Windows File Explorer. So suppose if I want to copy a selected file from documents to this flash drive, I have to open two different explorer windows but with one commander you just open two windows under the same pane and drag and drop files easy <music> lastly there is dns jumper and as the name suggests dns jumper lets you quickly switch dns servers dns in case you don't know is basically a human readable name to an ip address we humans call it google.com, whereas computers call it 142.250.64. etc. etc. DNS servers helps to connect both human readable name DNS and computer readable name IP address. Now, if you use your default DNS from ISP, many websites are blocked or just bad configuration. Like previously, we used Airtel Fiber and Airtel used to block Alexa websites. So there are other sites as well. I can't recollect right now. You are smart enough to figure that. So I started using Google DNS and boom, Alexa and all the other websites were unlocked. Now DNS Jumper has lot of DNS servers inbuilt and the job of changing DNS server is very easy. 
you just have to click on the DNS server and apply, it's done. If you use a little known DNS service like Smart DNS Proxy, it even unlocks Peacock TV in the US, which you can watch for free. No credit card required. Like here, if you see, I open Peacock TV without changing the DNS, it shows not available in your region. And now, when I have changed the DNS to Smart DNS Proxy, let's go back and check. As you see, Peacock TV works. It just works like I'm in the US. All in all, it's a helpful utility and that was the list. We also covered some cool apps like Task Explorer, which is a great task manager alternative, all-in-one messenger app like Stack Browser, etc. You can watch that over here. And on that note, this is Pratik signing off. See you soon.